hey guys so i just thought i should come here um and this is like in the morning <laughs> i'm about to get ready to go to work but i just thought i should come here to show you guys my actual weight uh today is a tuesday yesterday i did go to the gym after work so i only missed um a day uh to showing you guys uh, my before weight i just recorded my weight and i think because of the camera it literally hit uh, 77 it was like 77.1 and the camera with the microphone is quite uh big so <laughs> but yeah uh, my weight is actually around there um without the camera it's like 76 point something i don't know 76 point was so it's pretty much the same thing um i was 80 and then i actually um lost like four kgs or so and then i i, I regained as well just a little bit but yeah yesterday i started on the 17th of january today is the 18th in the morning i started um going to the gym and i'm standing in front of the camera because i don't want to position the tripod and everything because i'm a bit late so i'm just standing like this uh that's why i'm like hunching and uh, leaning towards the camera so i just wanted to show you guys how everything is looking like so that uh we see the difference as the time goes by i don't know if i'm gonna do this in a vlog style i probably will if i want to record at the gym as well but the main thing is i want to show you guys um, what happens so in the morning uh when it comes to food i'll just quickly i think snap but it's fruit I just, i'm just gonna have a banana and an apple and tea right now not uh, slimming tea <laughs> it's literally robust i'm just gonna have that then go to work and then i'm gonna I'm, i think i'm gonna show you guys when i have prepared right now i'm running out of time but when i've prepared i'm gonna show you it's literally the same thing um we're getting on meal preps so what we eat from monday to wednesday probably is going to be the same thing so i'll show you guys and then from uh thursday and friday and weekend it's gonna be the same thing as well so yeah let me just do measurements i have a tape measure the way i'm standing is making me feel so tired but i have a tape measure i just want to measure i think my waist and arms and uh yeah that's it so i'll just lean back i'm wearing a swimming costume this is how i look like from the sides this is how everything is looking like like i'm not holding anything back <laughs> I can't see myself because I'm not even connected to the monitor but I can see on the whole screen there just a tiny bit I hope I'm still in angle so yeah this is how I look like currently and this is the part that's frustrating me the most I don't like this part here and my arms are getting big and also my thighs yes so those are the area points mostly that I want to focus on so let's get on with the measuring i'm gonna measure in centimeters i'm gonna measure just around here well, let's see how many centimeters is my waist i don't know if you guys can see that let me just come closer and hope that this is focused but i'm basically 89 centimeters around the waist so this is my waistline and then like i don't know what you call this like where there's like the love handles like this part like sort of down then this is the waist so like the lower waist i guess <laughs> and where there's fupa i want to measure it as well i want to measure this part so that i know what i want it to be slimmer i want it to be slimmer that was 89 at the first one this one is uh, 96 point something. It's 96. Oh, 96. Actually, it's 96. 96. So that is what this is. It's 96 down here. 96 centimeters down here. Wow. That's quite a number. And then let's go to my arms and coverings. Um, it's not as straight, so this will be literally. Uh, the average number it should be around there let's see what is that number no man i'm holding the wrong side okay let's do this and uh, make sure that that is flat yes so yeah i think that should do 
I'm holding literally where the gold part ends and it meets with the rest of the tape. So that is where that happens here. And that is 29,5 centimeters. That ended up being, I don't know if I, that's showing, but yeah, it, it ended up here at 29,5 centimeters right there. I'm not sure if it's forecast because I can't see anything. So my arms, I will assume, I will assume that they are the same on both sides. Uh, they probably aren't, but yeah, I, I, I won't be, I struggle to measure my left arm and I'm right-handed, so it will be a mess if I try to measure my right arm. I'm using my left hand and my partner is has already left for work so I don't have anyone to help me with. I just thought of this now like as I was preparing for work so I was like let me actually quickly do this before I forget so that I know that at the beginning beginning I have the footage for that and then we will have continuous footage as the days go by. So yeah for today that's it for this morning that's it and then I will just continue filming my progress that is probably weekly or every second week and then I post um, I, I still haven't figured out how I'm gonna do this um, um, how I'm gonna balance putting all this content that I promised you guys out there so as soon as I figure that out I'll actually let you guys know probably on the next next snap of this I will tell you how frequently I'll be posting about my weight journey and how frequently I'll be posting about my uh, hair journey as well and all the other things that will be there in between so yeah see you on the next snap hey my loves uh, so this is um, another day of the same video obviously I'm recording this on a different day today is a Sunday and uh, I decided uh, based on the first clip I actually wanted to like make sort of a vlog throughout the month of January and then upload the whole thing when it's like together uh, but I decided let me actually give you guys like uh, the beginning of everything like on the previous clip I'm doing measurements and everything and then on my first video I actually mentioned that um, I'm sorry <laughs> I'm losing my breath I've been trying to adjust my camera I broke my mounting thing so it's like I'm using a stack of things just to keep this camera where it is so yeah but yeah let's get to the point so um as i was saying on the first video i said that there were pieces like of clothes that i want that i want to fit in like by um by much so i decided in this video let me actually show you guys some of those clothes so that um you guys see where i started with this i feel like it's gonna motivate me if it's out there you know so i'm just putting this out there these shots sometime last year actually did fit um when i bought them I got home but they were very tight I mean they did fit as in they do go up now like they do go up my thighs and then um, they also do go up my hips but like thing is here they can't come together <laughs> and close and they used to they actually not really that they used to when I bought them I knew that they would be small right and then when I tried them on like when I was here home at first they didn't go up and then I exercised a lot this was like before my graduation I remember and then I really like shredded some kilos and some weight and uh, those pants like those shorts were actually able to close these pants I've never worn anywhere these are shorts and they have a gutter here so I think that's why they're actually able to go up my bum and my hips because they have like a gutter um, what do you call this thing the back thing i don't know what you call it but the waist it has like a gutter so um they're able to stretch and go up um they struggle to come out though but they do as you guys can tell like here they're super tight and then they can't close like at all they completely cannot close like i can try to pull but they cannot close and if they would close then i wouldn't be able to breathe I've never worn them anywhere other than like fitting them, constantly fitting them in this house. I bought them last year and I love them so, so much. And I was planning to actually wear them this past December. Um, but yeah, as you guys can see, I couldn't. So <laughs> we're going to actually fit them again. Um, I think probably by month end. I don't know let me not lie <laughs> but I said I was gonna do like monthly check-ins so rather because I started this journey like properly properly um, last week uh, so I think maybe by uh, what was the date when I started 
I don't remember the date, but I will check it. So I would rather when, like the date when I uploaded my, my previous video, my first video of 2022, I recorded that video on a Sunday and then I uploaded it on a Monday. So I'm gonna check those dates. You guys can also check to verify if I'm not lying. And then on the following month, I'm gonna do the same thing that is on February. Uh, I'm gonna check in, I mean, I'm gonna check in on those date. And then we see my progress. I will not lie. <laughs> Uh, this past week hasn't been um, very consistent when it comes to exercising. I went to the gym three times. I mean that is a start, that is a good progress, but I wanted to go all the days of the week. But there were a lot of things happening. Um, I had like a thing in, I had like at work, I had a quality insurance thing coming. So they're gonna come and like assess and whatever and see if I'm doing things right, everything is okay at the clinic and whatever not. And I was panicking over that and I couldn't sleep properly. And the following day after that day, cause it was a long day, those things dragged, hey? It dragged the whole day and it was so stressful. I came back, I was tired and we couldn't go to the gym, but we woke up the following day and actually went at 5 a.m. And we realized that actually 5 a.m. will be good for us because the other day it was my partner and um, there was something at work as well and he needed to work on that so we couldn't go so um we decided that we're gonna now start start like trying to go like at five in the morning and there's actually a lot of people guys in the gym at five it was my first time going to the gym like at five in the morning and we got there and there was like a lot of people and i'm like wow people really did this and i actually felt good that day because i knew that i'm gonna work get tired or whatever or whatever i mean and then when i come back home it's gonna be like stress free no gym nothing i'm just gonna rest and sleep <laughs> so in that regard in the gym i wasn't uh, pretty consistent but i did go through times i pushed the days i could but by next week i'm gonna make sure that i push and actually go the five days and we're gonna try going in the morning and i have a feeling that that's gonna work for us and if it really does work for us then that's what we're gonna keep doing and then the one thing that we're consistent on though is food we did our meal prep like i said so that's another thing that i think i'm gonna show you guys in this video we did our meal prep and we ate right the whole week so today is sunday again i'm gonna cook i'm not gonna show you guys my cooking because it's not that great but i'm gonna show you the food when it's in the um when it's in the containers that we take um the lunch boxes i mean that we take uh with us to work so i'm gonna show you that and then you guys are gonna see the portion and that's pretty much the food that we eat in the mornings we usually eat fruit but i'm gonna show you guys all of that the fruit that we eat and uh, a yogurt it's like uh, two fruits and a yogurt that's uh, that's us in the morning and then a lot of water uh, and then tea or coffee or whatever you feel like I've been so much on the tea side rather than coffee I don't know I think because I drank coffee a lot I was like really into tea um this past week uh, so that's what I'm gonna continue doing I feel like tea gives me I don't know some sense of calm <laughs> So I'm gonna continue drinking tea. So yeah, that's what I'm gonna show you guys in this video I just wanted you guys to see the start so that when I try on this clothes another clothing item that I'm gonna Let me actually show you guys this and then I'm gonna attach a picture because I actually have a picture that is proof that these pants really did fit these these pants, these are my graduation pants guys. I wore this last year on my graduation and they did fit. I mean they were tight but they were like able to go up my thighs and bum and they were able to close on the waist and I was literally able to walk in them and sit in the car and drive and do everything even though they were tight. I wore them for my graduation. They are the same size. Um, so um, this is the sizing on these pants. I don't know if you guys can see that clearly. Um, which side am I supposed to move this on or this side? So so this is the size of these pants um i think it's the same size as i wore i used to wear uk8 <laughs> i still do actually i never bought a uh, new clothes that have like uh, a better sizing than that this is uk8 i know i'm not sure if it's the same size with the euro or whatever but i believe it's the same size because i've always like um, bought something around that I would google it before buying basically so yeah these are the few clothing items there's some tops as well but tops not so much it's really the pants mostly that I do not fit in them properly so that is what I'm working on and uh, yeah so these are the items that we're also going to use um, to check progress when the time comes so yeah Okay, so usually this is our breakfast, and um, these are the Woolworths yogurt um, 
low fat strawberry we both like strawberry so this would be mine and his or whichever one and then we would have like a banana and an apple and you got this literally would be breakfast for us um, and then for snacking along the day you take another fruit or another apple my partner loves apples uh, I'm more on the nutty side <laughs> but we do have other fruits as well so this is literally the breakfast that we have we are not that strict because we want to eat things that we know that um, we can actually buy anytime and anywhere and then we maintain the lifestyle and not that um, now we're gonna start eating vegan or I don't know like these are normal things that we would eat even if we are not trying to watch our calories but we mostly um, watch calories um, let me just show you guys the app um, that we that I use. My partner doesn't um, use it, but you guys know this app. This is my. Why is it not focusing? I don't know if it's focused on the phone, but this is my fitness pal. So you just download the app. I'm on the free side because, <laughs> child, I do not want to now uh, to be paying for this app. The subscription is too much. Let's see if um, I was to I were to subscribe. If I were to go premium, literally, that's how much I would have to pay. That amount right there, a thousand rands a year or two hundred rands a month, and um, I'm not about that, hey. <laughs> I'm not about that. But yeah, so you log in your calories here. You put on your weight and everything, and that you want to lose weight, and then the steps it tracks. Um, these are my iPhone steps, but I have more on my watch because I don't have my phone at hand all the time. So what you do is you just go in here. And then you you log on your weights if you drink water you just put that I just drank like five mils of water or 250 or thousand uh, that is one liters or if you had just eaten you just go on food and then you can go breakfast if it's breakfast time you can scan the food that's another cool thing oh they stopped that now I was able to scan the food like with this free app thing okay so I guess they stopped <laughs> because like really I was able to track the food um, and scan the barcode. You can scan the barcode. Let's see if there's, if there's no barcode in these woolies. Unfortunately, there's no barcode in these. But you can track the barcode as you guys can see if there was a barcode here. That thing will scan the barcode and then say how many calories that item of food has. I don't know why I can't they scan the food now but at least you can still scan the barcode. Oh, you can actually log in here these are the things i've eaten that i wanted to see how many calories they had not today obviously this is just my history like throughout time so we'll tell you that um three balls of lint have to 20 um calories uh and then when you click on that thing it actually goes in detail to say what's there and whatever not and whatever not so and then you just add i didn't eat it today but you can add um, and then it will say how many let me actually add for the sake of showing you guys let's say i had like a donut so add the donut i had a donut for breakfast and then you see there it will say that um your goal is to eat 1200 calories but um with the food that you ate it minuses the amount of calories that it has and then plus because you exercised you bent 43 kg uh 43 calories i mean so the remaining calories that you can take in is that number and then it also warns you here that um this food um is high in uh, what it is high in saturated fat you know <laughs> so it always warns you if it has like high fat uh high salt as well um the app will tell you so that's the good thing about this app as well i use this and then i exercise and then i try to eat um the way that i can the way that i think i can maintain eating so fruit to always have fruit here yogurt i love yogurt to always have yogurt and then i have this app and then i just exercise so i'm gonna show you guys now the only thing that's left for me to show you is our lunch boxes so i'm gonna show you how our lunch boxes look like and then yeah i think that will be the end of the video hey guys so as promised i just packed a lunch and boxes and this is what we have the best week that is from monday up until wednesday um, so it's just both the vegetables or potatoes broccoli and the uh, sunshine crab and then right here that's just really on top that's why it's looking at all but it's actually a chicken breast and um, so those are peppers and all the other stuff that i use for gravy and then we have some lemon creams just to snack um, 
and I'm usually put the either bottle or my biscuits or like chocolate so yeah this is how we usually eat and this is like the main big meal that we eat throughout the day I wanted to show you showed you guys breakfast and then for supper we usually just um, have fruits uh, because we just tired and we go to bed um, early and we usually still fall so just snack on fruits and uh, popcorn maybe if you're watching series or something and that will be that but yeah this is it guys i don't give it on any other outro and for this video i'm just showing you guys this it's late in the evening that's when i'm scaring as well so i just pick the lunches for tomorrow morning so yeah and that's it guys for this video i hope you enjoyed watching it and if you haven't please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and uh, yeah please do also leave me a comment in the comment section down below and give this video a huge thumbs up otherwise i'll see you guys sorry about that <laughs> on the next video bye bye i love you guys so so much bye